been a while since I've done a video, so I thought it'd be a good chance to do a bit of a workshop update, new projects I've been working on, new machines, and other things I've been working on. Let's go. So I've had a variety of projects I've been working on. I've been making a fair few rotary brooches, and these have been going all across the world, which is really, really cool. And this has helped fund a lot of my workshop upgrades, so thank you for those who have done that and helped support my channel. Done some more machining projects for work, so turning some very large pins for some suspension bridges and things like that, which is really, really cool. It's something completely out of the ordinary. My second channel's up and running and I've got a couple of videos on there now, including the restoration of this guy. So you can go and check that out if you want a few more videos from me. So you might have noticed the new background in some of the shots. I've now insulated and lined most of my machining shop. So the idea is to cut out external noise and also to make it warmer in winter. It should mean more filming opportunities in future. Once I was set on the idea of lining my shed, it sparked a whole chain of activities that had to be completed. I had to build a rack for my ute so I had a method of transporting timber. And then from there I needed to get rid of my old mill so I had a bit more room to move in here. And this is 12 mil thick, so it gives me the opportunity of screwing stuff into it. Apart from my workshop lining and renovations, I've had some additional building work going on at home. So that's been adding up a lot of my time as I try my hand at carpentry effectively. So I've gotten some new tools in the workshop. I've got a new lathe. I've got a new mill. And I've also got a hydraulic press now. There's also some smaller hand tools just to fill some holes that I had before. Let's take a look at the new lathe. So first update, I've got a new lathe. This is an AL960B. I've been making a fair few rotary brooches on the side and this machine has greatly improved my production. I've also got a digital readout system on this. I've never had a lathe with a digital readout before and it's proving really useful for production work. The Touch Dero system was sent by Mark Presling, another Australian YouTuber. Thanks a lot, Mark. Let's check out the new mill. This is a Bridgeport clone and it's made in Spain. So I guess it's a... Uh, Puerto Puente. Puerto Puente. It's a Condia power mill. I scored this mill in an auction nearby. It was covered in this black soot, which I think was oxyacetylene residue. Everything on this machine is three phase, and the way the motors are wired, I can't run on 240 volt three phase. It has to be 415. I've got a step up transformer, and I'm running it through a VFD. I don't know if you can see back there, but I've also got a slotting head for it, so I'll be able to flip the entire turret around and use a slotter when I need to. This mill also has a power feed, which is really cool. I also got a 90 degree head, a horizontal support, and a horizontal arbor. This machine uses international 30 tapers. Here in Australia, R8 tapers aren't all that common. So I think that's a pretty good system that I've got this. The idea of this thing is I've got a lot bigger work envelope so I can do whatever I want. And I'll decide if I keep this, the Hercus, or keep both. We'll see. Final thing before this video ends, I need to update the sticker board. I've got a heap of stickers from some awesome creators out there. First up, we have a sticker from Cam at Butler. Cam's another Australian. He makes some really interesting content, really focuses on the engineering and design aspects in his builds and really worthwhile. Good channel. Next up, we have Mark Presling. He's a maker that focuses on all fields, not just machining and metalwork. And he's a really good teacher. So go and check him out, good channel. We also have a sticker from Vietnam. Now, I'm not sure how you say this exactly, but I believe it's pronounced ice cream. Kalam has got two stickers. He's got the round one, and then he's got this masterpiece. Kalam is an absolute artist and does some really amazing builds and machining work, and I'd seriously recommend giving his channel a look. This one will go in the center. Two final stickers to put up. I've got the sticker for this channel and the sticker for my second channel. If you want to swap a sticker with me, flick me an email. If you've already sent me one, I'll try and get in touch and send you a copy of mine. I might also throw a couple of stickers up on Etsy, so you can help the channel out by throwing me a couple of dollars and you get a sticker out of it. Anyway, I think that's enough of an update. Hopefully things start getting on track soon. Catch you later. Shop lets me keep some of that external noise out. Ah. And Squirty Bottle sprayed me. <laughs>